I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. When you choose your fish, you mainly think about fish-fish interactions. Is a new fish that you're buying going to get along with what's already in your tank? And let's face the fact, most of you watching this video care a lot more about your coral than you do about your fish. So what about fish-coral interactions, as in fish eating your beloved coral? Fish-coral interaction is usually handled by labeling a fish as reef safe, reef safe with caution, or not reef safe. Reef safe means the fish isn't going to eat corals. Reef safe with caution means that it may eat corals. Not reef safe means the fish is likely going to eat corals. Now what's misleading about all those terms is that reef safe with caution fish really don't eat corals. Let's break that statement down. Eating to me means devouring. The fish is out to eat the coral and consume as much as they can. Eating coral is much different than nipping at coral. A fish that nips at corals, nips at the coral once or twice, it loses interest, and it moves on. It's very likely that coral is not damaged in the process. Maybe the polyps pull into the skeleton, but overall that coral is okay. Now a fish nipping at coral, I'm okay with that. A fish that's eating and destroying coral, I'm not okay with that. But just focusing on the coral side of reef safe with caution leaves down a big part of your reef, which is mobile invertebrates. Mobile invertebrates include shrimp, snails, crabs, and starfish. Now while clams aren't mobile, I'll include them as well as some fish will eat clams. Certain fish like my harlequin tusk could care less about corals, but he's definitely gonna eat shrimp and he may eat some snails. If you stuck the label of reef safe with caution on him, you'd be misled because the tusk isn't gonna touch your corals, but he's gonna touch your mobile invertebrates. Therefore, reef safe with caution is better relabeled as fish on the fringe. Probably not going to eat coral, may nip at your coral, more likely to eat mobile invertebrates, which isn't near as bad. If one of your fish ate your coral, you'd move heaven and earth to get it out of your tank. If a fish ate a shrimp or hermit crab, eh, that's okay, whatever. Here's the usual suspects for fish on the fringe. Triggerfish, puffers, angelfish, butterflies, and eels. Diving deeper, there are variations inside families and even genuses. For example, the butterfly family. My pyramid butterflies won't touch coral or mobile inverts, but other butterflies like threadfin butterflies will definitely eat coral, but won't touch your mobile inverts. Therefore, just because a fish is in a certain family and that family has a reputation, that doesn't mean every fish in that family is going to cause trouble on your reef. Before you buy, do your research. There are a handful of reefers who successfully keep non-reef safe fish in a reef. What's their secret sauce? Well, they say they feed a lot. What's my take on that? Well, if you have a reliable automatic feeding method, it can work for you. The catch here is there isn't an automatic frozen feeder on the market. I've seen some that are in development. There's some that have talked about it. They put out prototypes, but I've yet to see one actually come to market. So frozen foods, they're out. That means your fish have to like flaked food and pelleted food because that's the only thing you can feed out of an automatic feeder. So if they'll eat that, you can win. The catch here is if something goes wrong, if your automatic fish feeder runs out of food or there's no one there to feed your fish, then what? Then you're really tossing the dice that your fish that isn't eating coral will all of a sudden say, I'm hungry, that looks tasty, let's go. Oftentimes, once a fish gets a taste for coral, it's over. It's not likely that they're gonna stop liking that coral. If you wanna roll the dice and put non-reef safe fish in your reef and rely on feeding them a lot to keep them away from the coral, hey, more power to you. I'm not willing to roll that dice. If you wanna have at it, go for it. Send me some pretty pictures of your pretty fish in your reef. I hope the best for you. I'm personally okay wading into the fish on the fringe pond because the fish that are fish on the fringe that I put it into my reef, it's likely that they're gonna eat mobile invertebrates and I know that they're very unlikely to actually eat my coral. So where you fall out on the fish on the fringe spectrum is up to you, but reef safe with caution, let's put that term to rest. I'm Mark Callan, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. I'll catch you in the next episode.